Welcome. Welcome. Welcome each other in the name of Christ. Welcome each other. This is a place where everyone is at home. Some words from a sermon preached by John, the first anniversary of this place. In our service, we invite you to join with us in our journey with God, the Father of Jesus Christ. By his spirit, we are taking one more step into the future. To do this confidently, we listen to how God has been leading his people on Penhris during the past 1,500 years. Penhris is the oldest and the newest Christian site in Rwanda. We welcome you to this place of pilgrimage and to step on the road with us. together. I am quite sure that nothing, neither dying nor living, neither what we are facing now, nor what we may have to face tomorrow, nothing in our own world, or in outer space, or in our own hearts, can take away from us God's life, made real by Jesus our Lord. Lord, you know our failings and our faults. We bring you our sense of guilt and our moments of weakness. You know our need for forgiveness. In the name of Christ, forgive us, grant us peace, hope and light, so that we may live as you command. Paul has missed it. There you are. I've been missing it all my life. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Now there's many languages here. Let's see how many languages are here today. How many speak, how many's home language is English? Hands down. Whose home language is Welsh? Whose home language is Zambian? Oh, right. And Miso and Malagas and French. Have I missed any? Afrikaans? Tamil? Any more? German. German. With Maria, they me Jim's Maria Jim. So we're uh, we're we've gathered here from all over the world. To this little place of pilgrimage called Pendris. Isn't that incredible? So we're going to say the Lord's Prayer in our own home languages. Okay? And let's listen to it and let's enjoy this cacophony of God's wonderful variety. Our Father, who art in Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Anne is going to read to us 
th th this service is, is, is largely built around the, 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 fir the service on the first anniversary of Van Bayer. There's some new elements to it as well. So we recall the old and we, we lead us on to the new. Anne is going to read to us from Isaiah, uh, chapter 40. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. He understands his unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strength to the powerless. Even the youth will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. As those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Bless the Lord, my soul. special treat. Hannah, Kath and Fabi are going to read to us from Matthew chapter 5. Where are they? There they are. <laughs> when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the, are the poor in spirit of for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be clean. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the poor in, poor in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peace makers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for their lives is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled under foot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel bushel basket, but on an upstand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, light your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven.
I think we should have all done the actions, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Can we go back? Yeah. Let's go back. It's okay to go back in time sometimes. We need some people now who know the actions. Come on, come on, come on here. Come on, let's do the actions together. And we sing the first and the last again, okay? Here we go. Oh, seven, 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 seven. Here we go. First, first, and last one. Beside me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, King of my heart, Christ be within me, Christ be below me, Christ be above me, never to pass. Well, twenty five years. Who would have thought twenty five years ago? when John was 26 <laughs> and Nora was 24 <laughs> and Hugh was 30 <laughs> Who would have thought 25 years ago what we'd be doing today in the village of Tampai? This is a miracle This is a miracle of community It's a miracle of God it's a miracle of the ancient well and the statue around this place being built. It's a very special place. How many people know how many denominations are involved in Tranvire? Don't, don't say anybody your hands up. Right. So we who know are, going to, are now going to recite who they are. <laughs> This is the only place in Wales, the only place in Wales where eight denominations work together alongside Roman Catholic friends, alongside Tad Daniel, the wonderful priest with the long beard and the hat who gave, who gave the icon. So it goes beyond here. And it goes to call the island as well, to deep relationships and assertions in calling. The bell we heard rung earlier is the bell from Colton. And we'll hear about that in a little while. So, Paul. Oh, right, you changed the order. Very <laughs> good. Fabi. Sarah, Fanny came here how many years ago, Fanny? Um, Twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. Mm. Twelve years ago. Mm. And you came from? Madagascar. Madagascar. And where in Madagascar? In Antanarive. Antanarive, which is, in, um, which is the, the capital of Madagascar. Big, bigger than Cardiff. Yes. Yeah, big, big country. Yes. Yeah. And uh, in the capital of the region, Fanny. And that was one of the girls who came. So Fabi came to us from Kani Hook in Atari. Yeah. Uh, and she was then one of the girls in, in, in this in this orphanage. And you came for how long? One year. One year. Sharon! 
Sharon, stand up, Sharon. Sharon also came for one year. <laughs> and how long have you stayed, Sharon? Four years, five. Twenty-five years. <laughs> Fabi, <laughs> tell us where you're working now. I am working with people with learning disabilities. And where? In Pontypridd. Fabi has now come back from Madagascar, having experienced and died, gone back to Madagascar, done some more work there, done some studying there, and has come back to live in Bertha Tidville to work amongst people in Ponda Creed. That's what Tom does. Give mm -hmm. it a clap. <laughs> and that's what Tom does as well. Sharon, <laughs> give it a clap. Rebecca and Yara, and Seren and Hannah. <laughs> Rebecca's going to tell us where she's from. I am from Mizoram in northeast part of India. And why are you here? I am here as a partner in mission. With? With the, through the Council for World Mission. And how long have you been here now? Here in Penn Greece, it is our sixth year now. Six years. Oh. Have you been here the same, Nyana? Yes. Hannah, where did you go to school? Henry Spiner. And where are you going to go next? We don't. And how old are you? So Hannah was born before she came to Penn Greece. But there was a great event. She the family. And here is Seren. <laughs> Seren was born here. With a name like Seren, which is <laughs> she was born here. So we've, we've always welcomed Rebecca and and Seren. They bring so much to the family. As people over the years brought some to make a vampire. Now we got a bit of a treat. We thought, what do we do to bring, to tell people what the variety of people who have been to the vampire is like? So we asked them, would they do a very short video greeting for us? So here is a video greeting from some of the people who have spent time here to enrich the life of families and have gone away themselves enriched by families. Hello everybody, I am Estin, I am from Madagascar, I was one of the volunteers in Pendis. I just would like to say happy 25th anniversary Pendis and I wish you all the best. Bye! Hi Pendis, I miss you all! Happy 20, 25th anniversary. I am Mapion, previous volunteer. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Lanweir. Uh, this is Trina from Denmark. I used to be a volunteer in the church in 2002, 2003, so that's many years ago. Uh, I remember it as being a wonderful time and I've learned a lot. Now I've become a teacher and, well, I just want to wish you a wonderful anniversary and may God bless you all. Bye. Happy 25th anniversary to Juan Vire Uniting Church. Whenever I think of Penrith, I feel homesick. I consider that small village on a hilltop as my own. There is truth in the saying, you can take a young man out of Wales, but you cannot take Wales out of him. Once a Penrican, always a Penrican. I want to say a very big thank you to the following people for making my stay there special. Sean, Laura, Michael, Paul, Sharon, 
Nicola, the late Rain, all the children who must be grown-ups now, and of course my two buddies, Peter and Zara. Thank you all. Kroeso i Kamri. No, that was for Welcome to Wales, right? Diolkan Bauer. 안녕하세요. 축하합니다. Hello everyone. Happy anniversary. How are you? I never forget Paris. That time has changed me a lot. I wanted to say thank you everyone. And I'm so glad that I can congratulate. I hope we see you one day. Then have a lovely day everyone. Bless you. 안녕. Happy anniversary and far church in Penris. Hello, my name is Naomi. I was a volunteer in Lampert Church in 2004. Happy 25th anniversary Lampert Church. I wish I could celebrate it with you. God bless you. Ta da! Hello, Penris. This is uh, Nicola. I was a volunteer in Pembris in 2001. Hello, it's Hanta. Uh, I was a volunteer also in 2001 in Pembris uh, with Nicola. So, happy birthday uh, to you all. And uh, we wish you all the best for this uh, 25th uh, anniversary. Yeah. Uh, we wish we we were there, but uh, as we cannot be there, uh, a warm love from Madagascar, and uh, hope we will meet again one day. Uh, as we have got two daughters now, we are going to represent you, our uh, children, Kesia and Yenya. Right, as I told you, we are going to represent our uh, daughters uh, here next to me. Hello, my name is Kesia. Hello, my name is Elia. Yeah, Kesia is 11 years old uh, in December, and Yenya 7 years old already. They go to school and they are very keen to, for drawing and uh, singing. And uh, Kesia is playing piano. Uh, they are uh, doing Sunday school also and doing scouts. Mm. And they are very lively. And uh, all of us, we wish you all the best for this 25th uh, year, uh, anniversary of uh, Love Fred Pendles again. And uh, all the best. God bless you. Good day to our beloved Christian Fellowship. Congratulations for the 25 years of serving Christ, children, and the community in Pendis. God has placed you in this exact location to become a light shining for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I also would like to take this good opportunity to say that I am very grateful to those who helped our Malagasy volunteers enjoy their time and stay while they were here. I must say that your support really helped them build their future and lives. Congratulations again to all of you on behalf of Yanta, Estin, Nomi, Fabi, Gabriel, Nina, Zara, Juliana, Mampion, Lalau, Sawundra, and Dominic. Keep up the good work and my God bless you all. And the astonishing thing is, they're not all.
<laughs> there were more people who have been here to all the 25 years to uh, to share life and their life with, with uh, the full companion here. It's been great. Um, this is from. I'm going to ask two other people to bring greetings in a minute. This was going back how this venture, this risk, this um, this partnership in good news, particularly particularly from the amended scheme of administration, uh, and it's called the spirit of the venture. This congregation, like every other Christian organization, exists primarily to worship God and proclaim Christ to others. The members of the church and of the sponsoring body intend, in these particular circumstances, to try to fulfill these aims in unity. A venture of this sort will only succeed where there is a real will on the part of all to make it succeed. There needs to be real respect within the church for all the traditions represented without necessarily insisting on every customary usage of a particular tradition. <coughs> Let's read this together. There needs to be an expectation of what God will reveal to the church in its discovery of unity in fellowship and mission. Our prayer is that Henry's Church, which in its particular ecclesiology is seeking to reflect the reconciling power of the Gospel, will be effective in the ministry of reconciliation with the people of Henry's. I think Rob's going to read this for us. Am I? All right. Well prepared, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> this ecumenical venture, I'll, I'll introduce it, a declaration of intent again from the amended scheme of administration. This ecumenical venture has been set up by the churches named below and in the spirit of the covenant for unity in Wales. The intention is to create a single Christian congregation worshipping, witnessing, and serving in the name of Christ at Henry's Bromler. So, who are the eight partner denominations? Well, we have a little gift for each of the eight today. And I'll read these out. As they were originally in title, they probably all changed in title by now, the way it is. Who knows? This is 25 years ago. This may as well have been the Reformation. <laughs> so, here we go. And as, as I told you, so I'll represent the little denomination we can, okay? Alright? I'll light the candle from the big candle and put it in front of the candle in the arch, alright? The Baptist Union of Great Britain, East Glamorgan Association. <laughs> the Baptist Union of Wales. Phil isn't here, is he? Oh, shall I say this head? You want to do it? Yeah, come on, get right. Well done, get right. Get right is a long friend of members. Wales. 
Yeah. Is anyone here for Polly from Belarus? Wayne. 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 Wayne is also he's also working for Puzzle World Mission. So we see Wayne quite often. Let's all recite the names together. Ready? Ready? The Baptist Union of Great Britain, East Glamorgan Association. Baptist Union of Wales, East Glamorgan Association. Church in Wales, Landach Diocese. Congregational Federation of Wales. The Methodist Church, South Wales District. The Presbyterian Church of Wales, Glamorgan Presbytery East, Union of Welsh Independence, East Glamorgan Association, and United Reformed Church. So, symbolising to what we've committed ourselves 25 years or more ago to declare our unity in God through Jesus Christ as a witness to that reconciling love of God in Jesus Christ among the villagers of Pendris. Now the last minister here uh, was Gething, and Gething's here with us today. I can ask Gething to bring a, a, a greeting as well.
which is the successor to the Council of Churches for Wales, of which there were in 1984, we've just discovered eight members, each symbolised by these candles. Um, let me tell you that there are now 17 members uh, of the team, it's now called the Council of Churches for Wales. We welcome the 17th, the Church of Pentecost UK, which I suspect didn't exist in 1984. We welcome them into membership at our annual general meeting last week. Uh, and that's, and uh, we now have a membership which wasn't possible in 84, the Roman Catholic Church and a whole lot of other churches, Indian Orthodox, Ethiopian Orthodox, and I cannot remember that list of nine either. Um, but I bring the meetings in a sense of all of those churches. It's a privilege not only to work for the eight but with all whom I was working here in Penrith, but for the other nine as well. To be working for all 17 churches committed to that unity across Wales. But I think it's true that I and my colleagues in the team still regard this church as a particular faith because it is the only one so far to have been established by all the members of the council in agreement and in that commitment that we've just read together. You remain a beacon of hope, not just for this village, not just for these valleys, but for the whole of Wales, and indeed, in many ways, for the whole of the world. So thank you for your continued witness. Thank you. And there's Sh Sean Collins was hoping to be here, but she wasn't able to be here in the end. But there are two other people here whom I think some people might remember. I think they might. John and Nora are with us today. You don't get John without Nora, you don't get Nora without John. I'm not speaking, she said. Some people now are going to tell us a little bit about this place. Ivy, I think, is going to tell us about our purpose. 
We recognise the foundation of our faith in Jesus Christ and his church. On May the 16th, 1991, eight stones were laid in the foundation of Lampire. Each stone came from a chapel of the eight denominations which support Lambayas. They were laid in the shape of a cross. These chapels, all in Rwanda, have now closed. But the people who worshipped in them served faithfully in their communities for many years. We are grateful for the witness of the past, and we seek to build on their foundation recognizing that the keystone is Jesus Christ. Almost all that was left after selling the building to the Pendris Uniting Church and the stone from Ebenezer lies under Llanvair Pendris. With seven other stones from other redundant chapels in the area, it forms the shape of a cross. We remember with gratitude the contribution of the chapels to Rhonda's past and its future. And as you came in through the, uh, that door there, you will have walked over the eight stones. Okay? We sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David's going to tell us about the bell. Our bell was a gift to the Cistercian community living on Caldy Island. The Cistercians of Tantana ministered at Penrith in the Middle Ages. The Caldy monks are our friends. The bell is from St David's, the ancient parish church of Caldy, once known as St Mary's on the seashore. Llanvair are a trife. Now, the ancient bell of Llanvair ar a traith rings from Llanvair ar a bryn. Our icons are gifts to this congregation from the Orthodox communities in Wales. Sankuma is going to read for us. By opening Tanvail on February 29, 1992, we affirmed that our hope is to work with everyone concerned in the development of our community of friendships and to express our conviction that humanity is made in the image of God. Tanvail is an expression of our faith in God's promises, our hope for the future, and our commitment to God's love. So let's stand and let's uh, affirm our faith. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is created, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be in church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. And we remain standing as we sing this hymn written, the tomb was written just down the valley. 
by John Hughes. I think you know the tune. <laughs> Once. 
Because Phil Jones is a Baptist minister, so I'm sorry to say yeah, yeah. it was yours, he's a Baptist minister in, in the north. And Eric has, who read the prayers come from Wilmslow, a part of the church in Wilmslow. So it was, a, a part, it was good that he read that prayer for us coming from so close to Manchester. And take our greetings back to Wilmslow and to Manchester when you go back. Fred Calm, a good friend to uh, some of us, uh, a wonderful hymn writer, uh, a wordsmith, a lover of peace. Uh, he wrote a hymn spe specifically for Llanfair and the opening of Llanfair. And it's sung to the tune, I think, Llanfair. So we're going to sing this now, and some, those of us who will remember Fred will remember Fred as we sing it. And those who stand with Fred in understanding that we need a world which is different and, and shaped with concern for each other and compassion. John. Fred was here. He was here. The first singing, I started the wrong tune. <laughs> and Fred said, this is for you. So let's stand as we sing Fred's celebration hymn uh, for someone. <laughs> 